Welcome guys to my third video of my how to do reinforcement in Autodesk Revit playlist. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to use the structural path reinforcement tool. First off, we are looking at how we can create structural path reinforcement in Revit. We will then have a look at the settings. Then we will have a look at the new feature in Revit 2022, and that is how we can move single rebus in sets. And the last point we're going to have a look at is alternating rebus. So let's jump into it. So I have prepared a concrete slab with columns that is very simple, it's rectangular. We wanna keep it simple in this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is just first off, we're creating our path reinforcement. So we go to the structure tab here on the top left, and then we go to reinforcement section and then to path. And then when we just ho hover over the button, then we see a description how it works, it's saying structural path reinforcement. Now we, we click that and then we um, get the chance to s pick a structural floor or wall for path reinforcement. Um, that we will do. Now we get this this warning saying rebar shape definition will not include hooks or end treatments. Uh, we just click OK. We accept that. And now we can draw lines. So basically what we can draw now is it's our path. It's saying create reinforcement path. And we have different drawing options. I always prefer pick lines so we can easily just pick some boundaries and then uh, they create a line. But we can also just uh, use this drawing tool and draw it ourselves. Like for example, like this one. Now what we can see here, black lines and purple lines, pink lines. So basically um, the black lines are the boundaries of our yeah, path reinforcement. So we need to change that because it needs to go into the slab. There we go. And now we can say yes, create it. And it's been created. So for just for better visuality reasons, I'm gonna change this to wireframe. And now we can see what was created. Like we got our first off, we got a structural path reinforcement system with all the properties, but then you can also select uh, different reinforcement sections. Um, but as you can see here on the right, they don't really have a lot of properties or they have, but they're all grayed out. So we cannot change them because everything we can change needs to be changed in this structural path reinforcement. Okay. <clears throat> Before we, we get into like the settings of this structural path reinforcement, uh, I just wanna change the visibility uh, states. So we are here in 3D view. I'm gonna set the view unobscured and view as solid. What that does, we're gonna see that now, all the reinforcement bars are solids and they're also having a better, a nicer look. And also they are visible now in um, the reality mode. Okay, all right, now let's jump into the settings. So first off, uh, we can change, of course, the primary bar type to whatever diameter type we want. Hope you saw that, that we changed um, our bar type. Um, I'm gonna change this back because uh, it's standing out. We can then change um, yeah, our the length of our bar, let's say three meters. Now it's getting extended towards the center. Um, next thing, of course, we can change here layout rule. We can say we want a fixed number. 
let's say we have um, down here number of three bars so we say 50 we can have that and the next thing is what is here is actually really important because we can change the shape so what you can see here now that we have this this hue shape um, and basically here you have the different shape um, shape numbers one more just that you see that what changes now we have this yeah this open stirrup all right a really nice feature that comes with Revit 2022 is let's let's just go into the top view is that we can edit bars I've showed that in a previous video about the area reinforcement but this is basically this is really nice we can move this bar there's an opening we can move it wherever we want but it stays in the system and even when we annotate it here with our multi rebar annotation it still has kind of it still has it's still in the same system and we have the same um, general distance between the bars all right so we have this and then what is unique for the structural path reinforcement is the function that you can um, alternate the bars so when i select that you can see that we can have different length of our rebars which is a really really useful tool and as i said it's very useful so here we can have a completely different shape let's say we want 21 and let's say we want uh, those to be four meters you see we can basically have two different rebar types within one system which is extremely useful and then we also can have as offset let's say uh, one meter and then this is getting offset it and then of course we can have hooks but in those cases we have kind of hooks already 